Hey, it's Melissa from Kiwi Banana and today I want to talk to you about the topic of living in the Philippines and working online. And I think there's one thing that you really need to consider before obviously making the decision of, of doing something like that. But also when you're researching um, maybe about where you want to live, if you want to move to another place and you're working online, you're building your income through the internet, you know, social media and all. I guess anything that runs on internet um, that you, you know, and if you're self-employed or you just want to have your own business and things like that. There's someone behind me just looking at the curtain. So the, um, the speed here, the LTE, it's kind of like 4G speed here is about 8, 8, 8 download speed, I guess you could say, megabytes. Um, and I assume that the upload speed is probably less, although I'm not sure what the upload speed is. It's something you might need to look further into. But I would probably, yeah, it's pretty safe to assume that the upload speed would be slower than the download speed. And, you know, if you're working online, uh, the upload speed is probably more important than the download speed, you know, depending on what sort of content you're creating, but usually it's, um, it's more important. And the coverage of you know, LTE 4G is about 58% of, um, of the Philippines. Now, the Philippines has about 7,000 um, islands, which is a lot, but not everybody lives on all the islands. Um, they mostly live on the bigger ones. And, you know, obviously, smaller the island, smaller the population, less likely to have internet. However, a curveball gets thrown in there a little bit if, um, if it's a place that a lot of um, tourists like to go to, especially um, westernised, um, you know, western sort of type uh, tourists. I mean, you know, you know what I mean when I talk about that. Um, I'm sure. I hope so. <laughs> Now, I'm not saying that the, um, you know, the, the internet thing is a good thing or a bad thing, um, but, you know, with the slow speeds and the areas where it's almost non-existent of um, having internet, it can make working online quite difficult. And it's going to depend on what island and whereabouts in the island um, you are. And like I was saying, if it's a higher populated area, if there is a lot of tourists and you're obviously looking at um, income levels and things like that, the internet does tend to be a bit better. However, if you were to live here, in my opinion, some of the best places um, in the Philippines tend to be the areas where not many people were there, the internet is um, quite slow or almost non-existent. So I don't know, you know, that could be saying something, um, you know, maybe not having internet in certain parts of the, of the Philippines is helping keep, you know, uh, some of those parts more beautiful than others in the Philippines. You know, talking about the environment and people, you know, um, I'm not talking people as in like physical beauty, but you know, that sort of inner beauty that you, that you see in, um, in people. Anyway, I'm digressing. Um, so maybe you might want to look at um, satellite internet. That could be something that might help. I'm not actually sure if that's available or not, but that's something you could possibly research or reach out to other sort of digital nomads. They might have information on that. And uh, I guess you might also want to consider like that sort of cost of having satellite internet, um, whether that's going to be worth it, um, depending on how much money you're making from your um, online business. But if you know if you're making enough to cover a satellite internet, then and you know and you can get it in that area that you want to live in, then maybe it's not really going to be much of a factor. Or maybe you're just going to um, choose to live in a place and then travel um, to another area to to do your work. Some people um, will do that. I'm sure there'll be people out there that will. Maybe you like to live in a small town somewhere, or you just catch uh, some public transport or you can ride a wee motorcycle um, down to the next town which is half an hour or an hour away and maybe you get, you know, there might be an internet cafe there or, or a cafe that has internet, should I say, and you can um, do your work like that. It's, um, yeah, there are options to get around it. Um, it just, it, it does make working online a bit harder and, you know, a five minute task almost turns into an hour long task um, in some cases, which can be quite frustrating, um, but you, you can um, you can get get around it, or there's you know like I said there's there's ways around it. If you've got any ideas, any information about um, living in the Philippines long term, also anything to do with the internet, 
podcast. Maybe you want to make some recommendations on some nice places to live, maybe some places that you think are really good for internet speeds.